can't believe I'm standing here in a warm living room. Do you remember the first time we shot up here was raining? We bought a one season cottage. There was no heating and it was winter and it was so cold. We had both fires going. We were huddled in the dining room. It's colder in here than it is outside by far. We've done solid construction for about a year and a half through winter, which up here on the lakefront is pretty heavy, but spring is coming. Ugh. We've had a new roof. We've insulated, new siding, heating and air conditioning. We've put an addition on with a furnace room. Like we've just done everything. And here we are two years later to the day. I'm standing in the living room and I have to say, I feel so happy. I love the way it turned out. I love the fact that we kept the original living room. We just spent countless hours sanding the paneling and oiling it and clear coating it. But basically it's the same room. We brought in some new furniture, the sofas and chairs, which are the Charlotte by Montauk. I love them. Montauk is a Canadian furniture company who specializes in upholstered pieces. They've been around for a quarter of a century. Everything is made here in Canada. The designs are fabulous and super comfortable and Michelle's beautiful live edge table of Clara Walnut that he made and the side table that he made of Babinga wood. Some favorite old antiques, the Ralph Lauren wicker table. Oh, this set in the corner. This I bought from an estate sale. They're just beautiful and I changed the seats to a more contemporary fabric. the original oak floor that was in the house. We had it sanded down to the natural oak color and then we just had it sealed with clear coat. And you, as you walk through the house, you'll see that some of the floors are new and some are old, but they all look good together. Throughout the house, there are vintage carpets, which I've collected for 40 years. This one in the living room is one I've had forever. You can actually use that rug to create the color scheme for this room. So we did the sofas in this claret mohair velvet and then these throw pillows in this orange woven handmade to look old, but they're not, they're new. We kept the original light fixtures. We just had them rewired and we found some old vintage silk shades. And in the corner, we found a great unit online that holds all the AV equipment. And of course, the centerpiece of the room is the Samsung 75 inch frame TV, which of course is great because it looks like art. I love this TV. The mantle wasn't here. The mantles were quite skimpy, actually. Michelle found wood at a local source for both the dining room and the living room mantles, and our contractors built the mantle, and Michelle sanded it. The instructions, by the way, to anybody working on the mechanical was not to touch this room. And if you can find the heat ducts in this room, you get a prize. You can't find them. They're wood, and they're in the ceiling, and they're hidden. But here's a surprise. This door was not here before. We used to have to walk all the way around through the dining room, but not anymore. So we cut this out, so it's a secret door. And it leads to the kitchen and one of our favorite nooks and crannies. We took the space under the stairs and we turned it into a little bar. Perfect for house guests. This house is designed for weekend guests. There's a sink. There is a sub-zero fridge drawer for drinks and a sub-zero freezer for middle of the night ice cream raids and an ice maker. So you show that to your guests when they arrive and you don't have to worry about them after that. And it's a shortcut to the kitchen. So now we're in the dining room, which of course is the other half of the kitchen. And I wanna tell you about the furniture in here because it's so special. This table is Clara Walnut and Michelle went to Massachusetts to pick the wood. It was made by Peter Kulikan of Kulikan & Co. here in Toronto. And it's solid, it has no seam, and the base is so gorgeous. These chairs, on the other hand, these were not expensive. These are house and home from HomeSense. And the thing about these chairs is they're so comfortable, no one ever wants to leave the table. These are vintage light fixtures from Stanley Wagman in Toronto. The sideboard, it, remember my Irish wake table? We did a whole thing about it. So here it is, it's become the sideboard. And it's great because if you need to open it up and load it up with food for a buffet, this just flips up. The lamp was from LT and that's my tramp art in the corner. And 
This is a Dana Claxton, a Canadian artist. It's gorgeous. I just love this piece. And the armoire I've had for, you know, 40 years. It's been in every house I've ever had. It's from Provence and it holds all my dishes. It's a dishes closet, you wanna see? It's great. And linens too. I just love this. I think everything else has been here for a while. This room gets so much activity. Everyone ends up in this room and they never leave. You can't get them into the living room for coffee. You've gotta be here. It's great. And you get the view of the lake. And you watch the sunset. And it's got a fireplace, another Rumford. Come on over here and look at this beautiful mantle. Like, it mirrors the living room. Of course, there was like a two-day debate on whether the mantle should return or not. And in the end, we decided to float it, so there's no return. So originally, this kitchen was actually two separate kitchens, plus a pantry. It was all chopped up, because you know, in those days, no one ever wanted to see the help, quote unquote. And so they were in, tucked into this little kitchen, and then the family was in a separate dining room. People who visit, who've been coming to this cottage for you know some time over the past hundred years walk around and they're sort of blown away by how beautiful it is but they're also remembering what it was like and they said it's very much unchanged in all the important ways my number one goal was to keep the things that attracted us in the first place you know you walk into a place and you're overcome with a feeling whatever you do to modernize it keep the feeling and that's what we did When we bought this house, it actually had 11 bedrooms. I know, it sounds obscene, but they were very tiny. And there was one working bathroom that had a shower and a tub. All the bedrooms had sinks. But yeah, there was definitely a shortage of toilets. Now we have six bedrooms, and all the bedrooms on this floor have their own bathroom, which is really nice. So this is our bedroom. It's at the end of the hall and it's big. We wanted a really big bedroom because we're downsizing in the city and our bedroom will be very tiny. And we love a big bedroom. It's a great place to retreat when you have house guests. It's a great place to work, hang out. The priority, which anyone who has a wood cottage knows, was to make things as soundproof as possible. So all these walls are stuffed with safe and sound insulation. And we also reconfigured the bathrooms. So there's one door that you close and then you enter our suite. In this room, we have, of course, our great big king size bed. And one tip about bed heights, the in thing now are very low beds with no box springs. And that's fine if you don't mind getting out of a very low bed and if you don't care about the view. But if you do, which in our case, we really wanna see the lake when we're in bed, the beds are high and the view is great. I love TV in the bedroom. I know many people are against it, but we love it. It's a Samsung 75 inch QLED, and we chose it because it has this thing called ultra viewing angle, which means that you can see the picture perfectly from any angle that you might be sitting at. And we also did a custom closet with California closets, which is like a little room of its own, not too big because in the country, you don't need a lot of clothes. We had custom doors made to cover it off. They're like sort of Japanese screens with inset rattan. And then I did this grouping, which I love. Lots of storage and this handsome sideboard. It's actually probably designed for a dining room, but I like the way it looks here. Chairs, which we found at LT, which are so great. Art from home, accessories from home. Yeah, this is a very peaceful, serene bedroom. That's what I think everyone really wants. Something quiet and peaceful. Our blinds are a favorite feature in this house. They're Hunter Douglas, they're called Pecan, and they're automatic and they come down and cover all the windows, so no need for drapes. I just decided to try to avoid drapes here because they take up a lot of space and I like, I like the cleanness of the blinds. This window was original to the house and we thought about removing it and then decided no, it's important because the sight line from the end of the hall all the way down lets you see through to the outside and because it lets in lots of natural light. You know, originally, I did not want to leave all the wood natural. I thought it would be depressing, but Michelle was insistent. He loves wood. So we came to a compromise that I would be able to paint certain areas of the house, which I did. And one favorite area is what we call my mom's room. It's the bedroom facing the back of the house, and we did it in a gorgeous stone color, kind of oystery. 
I like it because it's just a change. And by not picking a bright white, we managed to keep it looking old. And everything pops against it. It's a favorite room. We have the Samsung 43-inch Smart 4K UHD TV. And my mom says she's not staying in any house without a TV in her bedroom because she likes to watch her soaps and she needs Archie right with her. And the two of them have been watching Downton Abbey for the 15th time. The bathroom is so sweet. All the components are Kohler. The bathtub freestanding is a modern touch, but it still looks right in this house. And the little vanity, I changed the knobs. I found a great website called Knobs and um, found these old vintage looking knobs, although they're really not. They're new plastic knobs. The shower I love because it has the stone floor. I think you're gonna notice that there are two showers in the house where the floor looks like it's river rock and it's nice underfoot too. And you don't slip, so you don't have to have a special shower mat. I love the mirror. Now, I've been asked how I got the mirror frame to exactly match the style of the bathroom and the color of the walls. It was really easy. I went to Canadian Tire and bought it off the shelf. This room we call Woody's room because our dear friend Woody was with us through the pandemic and it overlooks the lake. And that, I would say, is the primo guest room. We had a custom headboard and skirt made by a new shop called Hem in Toronto. Slip covered it in linen, which I think is great in a guest room because you can always throw it in the wash. Some of the pieces were old, like the bedside tables I've had forever. The rug is one of my vintage rugs from my collection. So is the side chair. And the little stool that sits beside the chair in the bedroom, that came from anthropology. I love that. The sheets on the bed are great. Those are Christian Lemieux. We got them at the Bay. In fact, all our bedding for this house, except for my mom's room, which was Leanne Ford that I found at Crate and Barrel, all the other bedding came from the Bay, from the Lemieux and C collection. Our bathroom is predominantly Kohler also. We have a great freestanding tub. We have another wonderful shower stall without a curb, which is a challenge, let me tell you. You've got to get that exactly right so that it slopes just enough for the water to flow to the back, the drains against the wall. It has another one of those river rock pebble floors. And again, Michelle loves that underfoot. He was against brass toned fixtures and faucets in the principal bathroom. He said, no way do I want gold, but it's so subtle. It looks antiqued and now he loves it. I've never lived with wall mounted bathroom faucets before. We have the Purist series from Kohler. They're fantastic. We have a Kohler washlet, love it. Love having a separate water closet too. That's really great, especially if you're two people in a bathroom. And there's another one of my great vintage rugs on the floor in the bathroom. It picks up the tones of the wood and in the corner is that sweet little chair from Absolutely. Yeah, our stylist just found it yesterday, just in time for the shoot. So today's a big day. It's not just video, we're also doing a photo shoot. Hopefully we'll make it on to the January issue of House and Home. Archie and I, it's our cover shoot. Oh, I better brush his hair. Got to get Archie ready. He hasn't been allowed outside for three days. <laughs>